It's a pretty cool painting, Mario. Yeah, you know, um, I was just thinking, you know, this week I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be here because Beth and I it's our 20 year anniversary. Can you imagine, believe that? And we're we're going here. This is Hawaii. Well, see the volcano, and this is where we're staying in this little hut here, and we're going to church over there, and that's our transportation. No, no not really. Um, well, we did want to go to Hawaii, and but actually. Uh, we decided to bypass that plan, and we're actually going to go up to uh, northern Michigan to Marquette and uh, celebrate our 20-year anniversary, and so I'll be gone this Wednesday, but uh, Jeremy is going to take the helm, and uh, so all you leaders, uh, my high school leaders, you guys are doing a great job, so I know the middle school leaders are too, the kids are really excited and uh, are looking forward to this year, um, but you guys will all meet together at 6.30 p.m. in room 101, 102. So it's a different location for both groups. So that's right off the gym. And so meet with Jeremy at 6.30. And uh, Jeremy's going to talk to you about what questions you're going to uh, discuss. So, Jeremy. All right. So this week in your guys' small group, this is the first night you're going to be doing a study, uh, kicking off our new uh, Unstoppable series. So you should have handed out these uh, studies last week to the students. Hopefully you really encourage them to do it um, on their own time before coming back to youth group next uh, Wednesday. Um, but just to give you guys some direction uh, for your study this week, some questions that maybe uh, you may want to focus on. And again, you don't have to just do these. If you look through the study and think there's other ones that may uh, be more applicable for your group great do those but we just want to help maybe cast a little bit of a direction for those who maybe are, are looking for that so uh, three questions that Mario and I think would be good to discuss are questions number eight 11 and 18 so just a couple of thoughts about those uh, question eight is the devil will do whatever he can to prevent us from seeking after God what are some different strategies that he uses to keep you from seeking God and, you know, we really want you just to try to get a student, students thinking about themselves personally, right? This isn't so much just a, a general question about what is he, what does the, sorry, what does the devil use to get, you know, people in general or middle schoolers in general or high schoolers in general, like, gear this one towards a more specific answer for your students. Um, what is he using for you? What what strategy is it for you that keeps you from seeking after God? And so spend some time on that. Uh, question number 11 is, uh, when has God called you to do something that might have been outside your comfort zone? And how did you respond? What did you see God do through it? Um, again, this is a, a personal thing, right? God calls each of us to do things that stretches us, uh, moves us outside of where we're comfortable. And I think the kids, a lot of them have experienced some of these things, whether it's been on a missions trip, uh, something with school, uh, some sort of leadership here at the church and youth group. Um, but get them talking about those things and really try to focus on some of the blessings that come. You know, just because we step out of our comfort zones doesn't mean that everything's always good and easy and, and you know, it goes well. Sometimes there's some real struggle to it. But being able to see the blessings through that uh, is really an important aspect of growing in a relationship with God. So even though we, we may struggle through things. Um, the last question is question number 18, if I can turn the page here, um, and that is, how would you respond if you overheard someone at school talking about how Jesus is a total fake and it's just some made-up religion to make people feel better, right? How would, how would students respond to that? And, you know, something I think we're learning um, in the student ministry is we have a lot of students right now who know maybe a lot about the Bible and, and about being around church and stuff, but they've not really grasped it in their hearts and started following that. So um, this is kind of one of those, you're in the hot seat moments, right? You're at school and you hear uh, this sort of conversation happening. How would you respond? Would you uh, step up and would you be able to give a defense uh, for your faith, a defense for Jesus, or or would you cower away and, and kind of let that uh, thought process just continue or that conversation continue um, with other people. Um, and kind of the, the thought behind that is just this uh, Paul's interaction uh, with this false teacher, Bar Jesus, and, you know, standing up despite him uh, really pushing again, teaching false things about salvation, who Jesus really was. So 
I really want to just encourage our kids to be owning their faith, uh, continue to encourage them to do these studies. Uh, you guys, we had a great first night uh, this last Wednesday. Uh, lots of kids here, lots of excitement. We had returning kids from back to school bash. I really, really believe that God's uh, going to do some great things this year. And I'm uh, very proud of you leaders and just the work that you're uh, already starting to do this school year and excited to see everything that's going to come uh, down the road. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email, text, call us, let us know how we can help. Um, again, Mario won't be here next week, so uh, if it's after Sunday and you have a question, contact me because um, uh, Mario's gone and we need to give him his space while he's celebrating his anniversary. So everyone wish him a happy anniversary and we'll see you guys uh, later on. Have a good one. God bless you. Hey, I just wanted to uh, just give you a couple last minute thoughts before I head off to Northern Michigan on Sunday. But don't forget in your small group time, some of you guys, this is really your first time really getting the study that you don't spend the whole time in the study. You really make sure you want to spend some time at you know getting to see how the things are going on in their life uh, spend some good time in the study and then so make sure you spend some time praying so divide up in those three things you know your life their lives prayer and the study and the word of the video is hawaii even though that's the philippines but that's hawaii is the word of the video hawaii all right we'll see you guys later